ADA 2-1 victory over North Ferriby in the East Riding Senior Cup final. Uh, I'm losing my voice because what a dramatic way to win a final. Yeah, yeah um, I thought the boys were absolutely incredible today, Ben. Bearing in mind that you know we were down to a bare 13 players, 14 with Adam Nick who, who fortunately came uh, and sat on the bench for us as a substitute goalkeeper with people being injured and unavailable and, and ill. You know, we were down to the bare bones, but the bare bones were absolutely incredible. We changed the system three or four times in that game um, and the boys adapted really, really well. And, you know, yeah, they had a lot of the ball, but they didn't hurt us with it because of our shape was good. And we spoke about that before, you know, getting to good shape, let them try and break you down. If it goes out wide, just stop the cross being delivered in the box. And the boys were fantastic today, mate, honestly. How good of a response was that from the uh, immense disappointment on Saturday? <laughs> it, 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 it's difficult for me to stand here because, you know, if we played like that all season, we'd, we'd have been in the top 10. We were incredible tonight, you know, and we can't just turn it on against Ferriby or turn it on against, you know, the Stocktons of this world. We've got to play like that week in, week out. So, you know, yeah, it was disappointing on Saturday. We've just got to take it into this Saturday. That performance and the boys understand mm -hmm. how important the game is, but also that they know they can play in a manner that's going to win a game of football. That's what we're going to take on to Saturday. Yeah. Going in at the break, 1-0 up after a good performance, even though Ferriby had the majority of the ball. What was the message to the boys at half-time? Um, we, we changed the way that we played slightly. In the first half, we we um, got, tried to get close to Adam Boulder to stop him um, feeding the ball out. Um, in the second half, we actually said, let Adam Boulder have it. Uh, but stop the ball going out. Stop that when the ball goes out wide, go deal with it then. So we did that. You know they got a penalty. Um, it, it probably was a penalty. I, I, you know I'm not going to stand here and say it wasn't because I don't know. Uh, so it was a penalty. Uh, but then the reaction of going from a 5-3-2 into a 4-3-3, a, a three, three, the boys reacted really well. And then again, when we Tom was flagging towards the end because he hadn't played for a while, so we bought Tom off and put an extra striker up the top with um, young Daniel Hernandez and played 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. We took the game to him. We took the game to him. In that, in that last 10 minutes, there was only going to be one winner. And that free kick from Dennis was absolutely incredible. What's the change in formation? Was it that then? Actually, we want to go and win the game as opposed to we want to see this out and uh, play for penalty shootout. Oh, I didn't want penalties. Didn't want penalties. I'd rather lose. I'd rather have lost two one in, in, in full time than go to penalties. That's mm. just a lottery. So we went for it. We, you know, we, we actually said um, when there was a breaking play, when there's two two players had head injury down there, breaking play. We actually got the players in and said, you know, this is the, this is the formation. We're going for it, and, and the boys went for it. You know, and. Incredible, mate. Yeah. Lewis Dennison, two goals for him uh, and two absolutely incredible finishes. Two brilliant finishes. Um, you know, in that first half, we, we were hitting them on the counter constantly, and I think that's where our threat lay. Wait, let them have the ball, wait for them to give it to us, then hit them on the counter with pace. And we got Adam Alley had a chance, Glenn had a chance. You know, we, we were getting at them, and I think, um, I think they were worried about our, our pace up front. Um, in that first half and I think they adapted in the second half in the way that they played so I think it suited us to be fair Yeah, Danny will get all the uh, plaudits for his two goals that won us the game but how good was his uh, strike partner Glenn Sarney? Do you know, Glenn was fantastic. I've just, I said, just said to Glenn, that's the best you have played for this club since you've been here. Absolutely incredible, Glenn Sarney. Denny, fantastic. But then let's not, let's, let, you can't single anybody out because nobody had, nobody had a bad game. Again, you know, you've got young Bobby Atry, second game is a cup final. And he was immense. Scaff, fantastic. You know, Ben Lewis, leadership. Ben um, Willow, leadership. Pete's just Pete, and he, you know, he, he just runs a game of football. He was superb. But Tom, you know, young lad coming back from injury, got himself about, did really, really well. And I think I'm not going to, I can't highlight anybody because I think as a team, they were superb, Ben. Yeah. It's the second time we've uh, beaten Ferriby this month, despite some maybe not, not as good results in the league against other teams. Um, what do you think the reason for that is? Do you think it's something tactically we have over them? Um, they have a way of playing which I think suits us. Um, it's not, you know, we struggle when teams go in, hook it on and go straight in behind us. When they're, when they're playing, we can actually get into a shape and say, go on, break us down. Um, and, and, you know, Ferriby, 
fair. We couldn't break us down. It was a penalty. We couldn't, you know, didn't break us down in the game at all. Didn't have Claire at the gate. Each had a save to make, did he? Um, so, yeah. You know, it, it's you always build yourself up for a cup final, but on the same token, you know we should be playing like that week in, week out. Yeah, it's two uh, East Riding senior cup wins in as many seasons. Um, does this one have that extra special feeling beating someone in the same division of a higher quality? Yeah, it does. To be honest, it does. And, and you know, very very good side. You know. The pitch has been superb. The ground staff have done an absolutely incredible job. This is a carpet. If you can't play football on this, there's something seriously wrong with you. You know, so it's a great, great place to come. You know, and and it, you know, the, the, I get, you know, I, I know the chairman and I get on well with the chairman Les and I get on well with most of the people here. It's a to me, it's a very, very friendly club. It's a great place to come. I love coming here, um, and it's only. 10 miles from my house which is even better but uh, yeah um, loved, loved, loved it coming here but yeah today's meant more I think to me than last year mm -hmm. and that's no disrespect to, to Head and last year that's not at all um, plus we played two weeks after our last game last year and players had been on holiday and done whatever and we hadn't trained and it was a bit of an anti-climax this is almost you know, th this is the pinnacle of the season for us, you know, and this is, it's been good, it's, yeah, it, it means a lot more this year. Yeah, and finally, it's a massive game on Saturday up at concert, but yeah. the mood must be uh, as high as it's ever been in that dressing room at the minute. Yeah, it's, um, it's, um, the, the buzzing, the buzzing, and so they should be, but now we've got to actually get them on Saturday and say, you know how you can play, you know the quality, you know the standard, you've got to be able to perform.